All right, Sisters fans, now this was an article from Mediatraffic.com, and I will leave a link to the article in the comment section below, but uh, some people wanted me to talk about it. It's about how some fans think Preston should join the Zatima spinoff or get a Danny spinoff. Now, I want to go through the article. And it has some tweets from various fans and, uh, you know, what they have to say about the subject. And then, of course, I'll throw my two cents on the counter so we can talk about this. So, after the recent finale, fans were shocked at the events that took place between Danny and Preston. This ultimately ended with Danny and Preston parting ways. And a lot of fans are wondering if he would be written out of the show for season five. Some fans want them back together. Some would like a spinoff show with the two and some would love to see Preston officially walk away from Danny and join the cast of Zatima, which features Zach and Fatima. And um, we kind of agree with all points. We don't think Preston's time is up just yet. There's more to his story and there's definitely more to his story with Danny. Season 5 is set to air in October, and we know for show, excuse me, sure he's in Season 5 because he was a part of the cast photo at the rap party, so maybe their story really isn't over. And let me read through some of these tweets. Like I said, I'm only going to read through a few. Uh, the whole uh, gallery of photos is in the article. Ending Danny and Preston like that don't sit right with me. I'm just here to remind Mr. Perry about that spinoff. There are so many layers to their storyline that could be explored. We, the fans, would love to see it in regards to a Danny and Preston spinoff. So this is how we end in Danny and Preston. Oh, nah, bruh. Um, this scene between Preston and Danny choked me up. Her character can't be that stubborn. How can they not fix the relationship between these two? Please don't let things end this way. I honestly think these two could have had something special. But while saying that, I do think Preston needs some time to fully understand the culture of black women. Once he gets a break and learns a thing or two, or Danny will take him back in a heartbeat. Yeah, I, I, I wholeheartedly disagree with that. Danny, you really fumbled Preston. That was a good man. Damn right. Yeah, I agree with that. If Preston goes to Zatima, I'm okay with that. I mean, he and Zach are friends, and I would love to see them build a friendship, and he be introduced to somebody new. If Danny's not going to act right, I'm at that point now. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, mm-hmm, yep. Oh, okay, this is the last one I'm going to read. <sighs> Medea has too many projects under his belt already, moving all slow. Perhaps he can write Danny and Preston into the, the team of spinoff, and we can get a little more. But Tyler needs to not... But Tyler needs not another show, in my humble opinion. Okay, well, that's the article, and those were the fan responses. Now, time to uh, give my thoughts on this. Look... I've talked about this a long time ago, a long time ago. I felt that I, I think I look, I might have to dig through the archives or the playlist or just go to my channel, go to the search uh, button and then type in like Danny and Fatima. I'm pretty sure I've done a video about a Danny and Fatima spinoff because as soon as Fatima met the rest of the ladies in season two, I'm like her and Danny just click. They click. Don't get me wrong, you know, Andy and Fatima kind of had a budding friendship due to being co-workers and whatnot, but in terms of which sister Fatima clicked with the quickest, it was definitely Danny, in my opinion. Um, this was at that, like, celebration party the girls had, a girls' night out, because, um, you know, Andy got that promotion and then that lawsuit, lawsuit settlement of, like, over a million dollars at her job. So basically, um, the girls were having their girls' night out and Fatima was invited. But yeah, Danny and Fatima click. Now, that one tweet I agree with, we, at the moment, we don't really need another spinoff. Because first of all, we're still trying to get the first spinoff. Sorry, bruh. I know that you were technically the first sister spinoff, but, you know, um, in terms of the characters of sisters getting their own spinoff, um, we're still waiting on Zatima. I always thought that, you know what, hell, have Danny and Preston move into the second half of that duplex of the, um, the one Zach has. And from there, you could have these two have that friendship. 
I guess the only obstacle would be Karen. And then, of course, you know how Zach would feel about this because, you know, with Danny, I look, Mignon does fantastic with the character. It's just the writing for the character that's so damn frustrating because it would have been like, in a, in a weird way, kind of like Sean and Angela, except it's, you know, Preston and Danny. And then you have Corey and Topanga, but it's Zach and Fatima. It's the fact that these two women or these two sisters are the only ones in the show who have had fan favorite relationships. And even though technically Zach and Fatima are the only ones in the show who have had relationships, well, technically Karen and Zach as well, but you know what I mean. I don't know what happened. Tyler just decided to throw Danny's common sense off a cliff and have her tripping for no reason. Like, I get it. If she's not used to a nice guy, if she doesn't want to give up her, you know, being in its street days, okay, I kind of get that. But it just goes back to how these characters at the end of almost every season, whatever, whatever growth or development they have is just thrown out of the window for the sake of, I guess you could say going back to how Tyler Perry doesn't want to write off characters. You know, what's the point of keeping pressing around if him and Danny don't have any problems? And I remember one time watching like, uh, where are they now? Or, um, what do they call it? It was on VH1 MTV or like TV guide, those channels They they would have like these mini documentaries, you know, TV ones unsung or behind the music for musical artists. It was kind of the same thing where it was like a special about different TV shows. And they had one about Say by the Bell. And I remember the creators were like, I know people always want to talk about Zach and Kelly and why Zach and Kelly would get together, break up, and then, you know, get together, break up. But here's the thing. They're, they were the fans in game. But if they just got together and were happy, there would be no story. I get that. But at the same time, the problem with most, not all, most of Tyler Perry writing is that you'll have characters who will quote unquote learn their lesson because, hey, I feel a certain way about this. And as the season goes on, either they don't really speak on it to the person that they have a quote unquote problem with, you know, like in Danny's case, she'll talk to everybody else but Preston when she has a problem with Preston. And then it let and she lets it fester. She just lets it sit. And then as soon as Preston does one little thing that's quote unquote wrong, she'll just explode at him. And it's like, well, Danny, you know, thanks for telling me. Let me fix that. But then as soon as a similar thing happens again, let's say he messes up in a, another way, but she's still festering more feelings of, you know, re, you know, just disdain. He messes up again. And then instead of, you know, in love or in, you know, a mature way telling him, hey, Preston, I really don't like having you around that much. Or, hey, Preston, don't invite people to the house, you know, unless, you know, you kind of run it by me first so we don't surprise each other like that. She will just just bring out the whole laundry list of everything he's done in the past. And it's like, look, well, I apologize for this. And now you're getting on me about this. So it's sad because these two were the it couple for a good portion of season two until Zatima came along. And I feel like Tyler probably looked at them. I mean, hell, he even said it. Uh, well, even DeVal mentioned it in an interview uh, during the filming of season two. Well, actually, the interview was only a few months ago, but he mentioned in the interview that during the time of season two, uh, Crystal and I were sitting on a bed during on set for one of the scenes going over our lines and Tyler like walked by and said, you know, what? I see something, you know, right here. And it's like, he kind of put all of his chips into the Zatima pot. And for some reason he just stopped really giving quality writing time and attention to the other characters on the sister show. And I feel like that's where the suffering came in, where Danny unfortunately got to the point where she was just repetitively, being a 
I know some people like to say, look, these women are in like their what mid to late thirties, give or take, and they're acting like college girls. I've seen some college women with more maturity than this. So I would say somewhat high schoolish. It's just the fact that you have this strong black woman who can be loud, who can be also kind and caring, but you have her with a demeanor of, I am black woman, hear me roar. You need to understand the black struggle. You need to do your research. But this man has all but, you know, groveled and kissed your feet so you can teach him and then you say, no, you're a grown man. So then when he decides to date other women, yes, I, I still don't like the idea of it being Zach's advice. I, I really would have liked it if it would have been more pressed in doing his own thing where he goes out, sees other black women, and then it goes back to Danny. I guess you could say if you, I still don't like the idea of that because it means like the other black women were pawns. But at the same time, he was doing the work. That's my thing about a Danny and Preston recollection that I don't want to see. If Preston is the one who just comes back on a plane or whatever, because he's already declared his love, he's already simped, I don't want to see that again. I want to see, we don't need a Danny spinoff. We need Danny growth. We need Danny to snap to her senses. You know what? I won't even, maybe I know somebody will probably quote me on this, <laughs> but I don't even care really if Danny decides to like, have that dinner date with El Fuego he, she's supposed to cook for him or maybe tries to talk to Logan again or whoever else but as she's on these dates or whatever or these you know nights out with these men she realizes yeah none of these men have substance I mean sure they might be good in the sack but that's about it you know I mean sure we might have things in common but our values aren't the same and the, those nights out at the clubs and whatnot and these, you know, restaurants and everything, they don't equate to those quiet evenings at home with Preston where, you know, he would cook dinner and we'd go to bed and all that kind of stuff. If we see her grow and if we see her admit to her own wrong, and this isn't like, well, Jeremy, that's it. You're just a black man that wants to see a woman, you know, you know, you, you know, just beg and all that. That's not it. It's the fact that damn near all the women in this show just fail to admit when they're wrong. I mean, hell, I'm no fan of the press. I mean, the Calvin and Sabrina thing. But yet again, another example of, hey, I'm going to go out with this other dude. And then when things don't work out, I just go back to Old Faithful. Why the hell did Sabrina ask about Calvin in the finale? You know, nobody wants to see that shit again. I know I don't. So I want to see Danny get herself in order. You know what? Look, I don't really know how this would happen. But I think one good way, if you really want to have that Danny and Fatima connection, has nothing to do with Karen, has nothing to do with Andy. I don't know. Maybe Danny and Fatima meet one-on-one. -on -one. Like, Fatima has to go out of town for some reason. I don't know. Maybe she's meeting one of her family members or a friend at the airport. I don't know. Or um, they just happen to be at the same place at the same time. The grocery store, a restaurant. Again, I don't know. Set the story how you want. Maybe Fatima's over at Andy's place and then Danny comes over something. Again, just insert your own story here. But Fatima and Danny just get to talking. And, you know, Fatima's smart enough to know when Danny's trying to probe something and possibly run and tell Karen. But... She doesn't care about that. Like she said, she doesn't care about, you know, or worried about caring all that stripper. But somehow, Fatima actually, you know, sits down with Danny and they have a real talk. And maybe the conversation of Preston comes up and, you know, interracial dating and Fatima gives some sound advice. And the ironic part is, you know, Fatima will give some Danny level advice and then she'll realize how dumb she's been. I hate to use the word dumb. But that's really what she's been. And then she decides to call Preston up. And look, I know I would rather have her be the one to call as opposed to her realizing she misses him. And then she like, I don't know, decides to run out of the apartment. But then she opens the door and Preston standing right out there with his cowboy hat and bag because I love you. I had to come back. No, I don't want to see that because then she'd be like, see, there you are again, just popping up unannounced. I mean, unless she's like crying when she does that because she really did miss him. You know, fine. Again, Tyler Perry, you're the right. You're the billionaire, not me. So you'll figure it out. But I'm giving you good ideas, so make sure you at least consult the actors, see what they got to say. Um, you know, it to have Fatima be somewhat 
responsible for these two kind of getting together or at the very least getting Danny to come to her senses and these two get together then then moving in the uh, other half of the duplex would be phenomenal now I know you're probably saying look I ain't gonna lie I'm gonna be completely transparent part of me feels like if Danny and Preston were in Zatima that would kind of spell the end of sisters that doesn't mean their presence in Zatima would erase them from sisters, but that's another one of the four women, I don't count Fatima as a sister, that has way better story than the others because Sabrina, and I'll talk about this more in my season four overview, but Sabrina has just done nothing. I feel like, I feel so bad for the character because Tyler really didn't give her anything. Sure. The bio thing, but then that turned into some weird stuff. And then the uh, the bank robbery thing where she's getting arrested for something she had nothing to do with. Sabrina hasn't been an active character this season. It's more like things have happened around her due to other characters influencing things. So it's kind of like she's a character in a video game where, um, what's it called? Choose your path where you're the one who's pressing the button saying, okay, character, go to the left. And then, you know, go to this location. That's pretty much been Sabrina. She's been a, uh, you know, a NPC. Well, actually, no, she is a playable character. She's a, oh, RPG. What's it called? Role playing game. Yeah. She's an RPG in her own game, unfortunately. So I think that the show will be incredibly boring because yet again, Tyler has the writing chops. We've seen it in his previous work. I think a Danny spinoff is not needed. I'd much rather see these two in Zatima as required, you know, for fan satisfaction. But at the same time, I think, look, season five is already in the books. They filmed that months. What was it like in April or something? I hope season five is better than four. I hope Tyler gives these characters better material I would love to see Danny and Fatima. Th those two would have a ball together. And then, of course, Zach and uh, Preston, they're great, too. And then, you know, like, let's see Preston at one of them night basketball games. That would be cool. Um, but, folks, I, I didn't mean for this video to be as long as it is, but I just really wanted to hash out that I don't want to see a half-ass written recollection between uh, Preston and Danny. She needs to learn. You know, it's funny how much she talks about how Preston needs to learn this, Preston needs to learn that, but she refuses to learn uh, or recognize and correct her own um, shortcomings and fix them for the better. Why is it that the man is always the fixer-upper, the one that needs to do the work, you know? That's why uh, Zach and Fatima, while it, it's not the perfect romance, they both understand they've needed to come out of their comfort zones and you know do things they aren't used to like Fatima reopening her heart to another man and then Zach you know being faithful maturing that kind of thing so that's really all I gotta say technically I do have more to say you know I feel like I can go on for another 12 minutes but nobody wants to hear that maybe I don't know but I'm not so go ahead and hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video hit subscribe hit the bell icon and select all that way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel and uh, that's really all I got for you. I'll talk to you in the next one.